Hi, hi guys, so I'm going to read more fun comics number 101. So, yeah, this is the first appearance of Superboy, the Clark Kent Superboy. I'm on the cover, there's Green Arrow and Speedy, uh, fighting like a knight or so. I'm going to read that story um, very soon, or at, after this I'm going to read Fantastic Four number one, and then I'm going to read um, this one, but, or the Green Arrow story, but anyway, I'll cut back to the comic. So, there's Superboy, um, thousands of followers of the great Superman have asked the question, answers to these questions. What is the story of Superman's origin? And what was Superman like before he grew into man's estate? Was he just an ordinary boy, or was he a Superboy? In this story, you will find the answers to those questions, and believe we believe you will f look forward to to the further adventures of the youth who was destined to become the idol of millions as the great Superman. For these stories, we will deal with Superboy. So yeah, Superboy was a retcon. Superboy doesn't exist in the Golden Age. Even though it was made in the Golden Age, it's actually canon to the Silver Age. It's, it's really, Superman's a very confusing continuity. Once in the outer reaches of infinite space, there existed a group great planet which glowed like a green star in the limitless um, firmament. This was the planet Krypton. I think this was one of the first times um, the readers got to see like Krypton fully. There was life on the planet Krypton, human beings of high intelligence and great physical beauty. The force of gravity on Krypton was far greater than that on Earth. Then a Kryptonian on planet Earth could take an ordinary step and leap over the tallest building. In fact, he could almost defy gravity entirely. So, yeah, this, um, like it was retcon again, it was retconned later that Superman got his powers from the yellow sun. So originally it was because the gravity was denser on Krypton, um, that he could, that he could do, like, for somehow, like, jump over tall buildings and that. I don't know, yeah, there's a reason there's a pretty stupid explanation, because that, that would mean all the, like I said, I think I said this in an earlier video, but that would mean the Kryptonians would have survived in actuality if they all had the same powers, like Superman did. They would have probably survived the planet, so that's why they retconned it, so Krypton had a red sun instead of a yellow sun. Um, but so, in, in fact, he can almost defy gravity entirely. And because of Krypton's gravitational pull, the citizens were able to construct aircraft of extremely light weight, which were capable of tremendous speeds. 900 miles per hour. A bit disappointing. Per Perry? Yes, we should be able to produce spaceships um, of sufficient power and speed to reach other planets. Of all the scientists of Krypton, jor was perhaps the most advanced. See, he looks a lot like Superman here. He, he looks identical to Superman. You have been working day and night on the model of your spaceship, Jor-El. You will wear yourself out. There is no time to rest, Lara. The lives of all Kryptonians may depend on the success of my experiments. But your appointment with the Council, Jor-El, you must hurry. Yes, Lara. Once again, I must try to convince them that Krypton is doomed. But even as Jor-El hastens toward the council chamber, the ground shaking again, and those deep rumblings beneath the surface of the ground, the sky dark and foreboding. But in spite of nature's warnings, Krypton's supreme council continues to turn a deaf ear to Jor-El's impassioned pleadings. I implore you, build thousands of great spaceships like my model. If the lives of all Kryptonians are to be saved, they must travel to the planet Earth. For Krypton is doomed, doomed. We have had earthquakes and storms before, and our planet still exists. Your theory is fantastic, jor -El. Leave Krypton? Never. Filled with imp impotent fury, jor -El hurries home and the shaking and rumbling of the planet increases. Blind fools, they'll die, all of them. But at least I may have time to save my family. Quickly, Lara, into the model spaceship. There's just enough room for you and the babe. No, my place is here with you, my husband. But let our son have his chance for life. 
Those moments later, the little craft sets off on its terrible adventure with a tiny human cargo. Not a moment too soon. Farewell, my son, farewell. And moments later, the great planet vanishes. Days later, the rocket ship comes gently to Earth. A passing motorist found the child and took it home to a founding home. Or fondling home. I've never heard that. You strange a baby in this peculiar looking contrivance. So yeah, originally it was a passing motorist found Superman. It wasn't the Kents. Um, that was the original thing. But as the baby grew, he astonished members of the home staff by his feats of strength. It's, imp it's impossible, and yet it's happening. Later, the infant was adopted by a childless couple named Kent. So yeah, they look a lot older than they did in the previous appearances. Isn't it wonderful, Pa? And he's ours. A fine boy, Mother, just like we've always wanted. Years pass, the baby goat grows into young boyhood. Here's the firewood you wanted, Mother. Good heavens, Clark, you'll hurt yourself carrying such loads. By the time young Clark Kent is a grown boy, he has learned that he is different from the others. He can leap with ease over buildings. This is fun. Outrun the swiftest denizen of the forest. Let somebody run who can run and perform a thousand other startling feats. But I can't let people know how different I am. I'll just have to go, uh, have to hold myself in check and go along like all the other kids. But one day, help me, help me, help me. The jack broke and his legs caught on the wheel. Lift, try harder. It's no use. We aren't strong enough. Then young Clark Kent grasped the rear of the car firmly and, gosh, Clark did it. He lifted the car like it was nothing. Golly, Clark, how did you do it? I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. Uh, I guess something happened just for a minute to give me super strength. And later in Clark Kent's room, super strength. It's a little frightening. My powers give me the chance to do a lot of good. But I can't let people know that Clark Kent can do these things. The knowledge might be dangerous, so... Clark Kent secretly fashions a colorful red and blue costume, and thus is born Superboy. Follow the adventures of Superboy and further future issues and more fun comics. See, so yeah, I'm going to read Superboy number... The actual Superboy number one. No, I'll read the first story next time, because this is really short. But yeah, I won't do Fantastic Four... Next time, I'll do Superboy number one, and then I'll read Fantastic Four number one. Yeah, and anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this video is really short, but this comic's really short. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, the naming it, uh, I don't want to read Superboy number one in this video right away, because the title will get messed up. But anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So again, sorry, it's really short. Um, if you guys would like, comment, or subscribe, that'd be appreciated, and I'll, uh, see you guys later.